No, so basically what you're doing is, is you're coming over here, taking pictures of people over the fence, which isn't the property that you have rights or access to. It's like a, really like a peeping Tom. That's exactly what you're doing. And but then you want to flip it around like I'm like I'm doing something illegal. Would you like to talk about it? Oh, I would like you to talk. I, I would like do to you want hear my view, or do you just want to yell at me? I both. Okay. Well, do you want to start by yelling, or do you want to start by talking? I would like for you to like at least Blame. apologize why you're a oh, uh, because Can you're breaking the law because you do not have this the right. Is, this is so not, so you don't want to conversate. You just want to talk over people, someone. Could, may, I, could, may I respond? Could, could we just stop this talking? Is not but see, this is a public easement, and you don't have the authority to do that, especially considering you refuse to identify yourself. Well, I appreciate it if you would do that. Then I would appreciate if you do that. Civilized nation deals with substance use disorder. There is no nation that deals with civilized that deals with substance use disorder in this way. Okay, so how would no, so so one. will you identify yourself? Yes, I will. I, my name is Michael Schellenberger. Okay. And and I have studied the Dutch program. I've interviewed the head of the Portuguese drug policy program. All right. They do not mix rehab and and consumption sites in the same facility. That's not considered safe practice. It's been denounced by one. All right. Of so the how do you know this is a safe consumption site? By one of the leading so you're not listening at all. So you're just going to talk. Go ahead. So how do you? Why is this a how? Why is this a safe consumption site? I don't think it's safe. Okay. So what? So you saying it's? Is this a city sanctioned consumption Correct. site? Correct. So you're saying it's a city sanctioned unsafe consumption illegal, site? Illegal, unsafe drug use site that is contaminating the entire spirit of Mayor. You're not the sun. I'm saying some sun. It's contaminating the entire spirit of Mayor Reed's crackdown on open deal of drug dealing and drug use in the Tenderloin. It is not what the what the Dutch did. It is not what the Portuguese did. They actually got people the treatment they needed. This is a medical experiment. It's not cool. It's actually completely unethical and untested. So what's your solution then? Like you should not have an AA meeting in the bar. Okay, so 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 answer the question. Yeah. So what's your solution then? The solution is to get people into treatment. Shelter first, treatment first, housing earned, treatment on demand. I'm fine with Suboxone, Methadone. I'm even fine with some people having heroin maintenance that are that are not going to quit. Hey, how's it going? Um, I'm also fine with... Um, <laughs> I'm actually fine with supervised consumption sites if they're done in the way the Dutch do them, which I've studied, which is they have a small number of consumption sites in 10 to 20 cities that facilitate about 10 to 15 people per day, and I mean, they are encouraged to get into treatment. All right, Those so, are not places where the rehab occurs. All right, so as long as you understand, a lot of this is going to be a farce anyway, because part of it is, is they're never going to fund the services, our systems to help people get better. I think I don't agree with you, sir. I think that we will. Can you, the over services. the over the over the over the 40, 50, 60 years that we, you've been having problems? We have been over the like the forty the the, the 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 crack cocaine epidemic, this fentanyl epidemic, the this, the heroin in the sixties. Have they ever funded enough treatment for people? Correct, and the reason is not because we lack money. Is that we spend more money on mental health in California per capita than any other state, and we have the worst outcomes. And the reason for it is that we are not following standard medical protocols in the treatment of substance use disorder. This is really an abomination. This is not okay from a medical perspective. This is a crazy experiment by the Department of Public Health who are dominated by very dogmatic harm reduction advocates who think that who think that they are who think that they are doing what they've done in Europe, but they don't have a clue. Do I don't think any of them have been in Europe. What's that? What do you mean by what do you mean by experiment? It's an it's an experiment in the sense that it's never been done before. Yeah, I just want to say, like, you recording people in there is technically illegal because you don't have the written consent. Yes, yeah, that's not true. They you know why? It's public. You may. I've seen you do your work in the tender line, right? I've seen what you do. But what you go into these staff and the people that are working here just doing a job, is that, like, tormenting and disrespecting? No, it's not. Can I finish it's first? No, it's not. You're getting okay. it. May I respond or no? Okay, yeah, let me finish. Okay, sure. You keep interrupting. Okay. Well, that's a problem. That's a problem. Those people tried to ask you politely in there to leave the site. You didn't check in like a regular client. You don't have a badge. You don't have any authority to be here. So you put other people's livelihood and their job at risk because they're asking you to leave kindly. They opened up this gate for you out of respect to make you a nice, 
and he's still being kind of lightweight ass. So you don't have right to record people. That's why the fence is blacked off. If they wanted people to record, you could walk up and down the yeah. TL and do that shit. But here's the thing. From, from a person to a person, you probably get your ass beat if you recorded people like that in the TL. But you do it to these people who are trying to find some kind of help. And yeah, I don't agree with what's going on here. We're here to provide services to those who want them. But you causing a ruckus for all these people trying to feed their family, bro? That's bullshit. And you know my colleague Victoria Westwood very well. I'm sure if she saw what she was doing here, she'd probably tell you, you're treating people of color here, working with the hardest to serve people here, like shit. So, may I respond? Go on ahead. Okay. Um, I'm sure you agree that sometimes people create rules and laws that are immoral. Okay. That is, this is one of those times. Okay. This is an unauthorized medical experiment on the most vulnerable people in our society, people suffering from late stage substance use disorder, homelessness, and in many cases, an underlying mental illness. There are more African Americans who were killed in San Francisco last year than during 40 years of the Tuskegee experiment. Okay. That is fucked up and wrong. There is a right I, and I wrong I way. My voice. Look, I did, let me finish that. But I didn't raise my voice. I spoke okay, you said, cold. okay, okay. okay. Okay, I'm, I appreciate your point. Um, um, there's a right way and a wrong way to do this. Correct. We can go to Netherlands and Portugal and see the right way. They, ne you, there are no AA meetings in bars. There are no, there are no rehab clinics in Europe and Portugal and Netherlands that are in the same facility as the supervised drug consumption sites. They're separated for a reason. So what's your point? Well, my point is that this is actively harmful, and I, I have other issues, which is that this is normalizing extremely dangerous behavior, unhealthy, self-destructive behavior. Everybody knows that, that those of us that have friends and family that have been in the throes of addiction, three teenage, three high school friends, two are dead. Three high school friends, homeless and drug addicted, two are dead. One is barely hanging on. Uh, my aunt suffered schizophrenia. She was cared for well. I care very deeply, as you do, about everybody here, okay? And, and frankly, let me tell you something else. I wrote a whole book on this. I also toured with Urban Alchemy for two hours. I visited this site. I've written three articles on it, well investigated. It's been picked up by the Daily Mail, the San Francisco Chronicle. So I'm not a slouch. I know what I'm doing. I went in there to get some more information. A woman stole my phone. Um, I went in to get it, and then they did not, it was not a piece, I, you did not they see it. Okay, you did not see it. Like, okay, that's okay. Cool. Can, I, can I say something to you? I'm it's a passionate person, I, I don't apologize that, for that, that's sir. Fine. He, he passionate, but at the same time, bro, you're talking about black and brown folks. I, who who I am concerned that, about. <laughs> who I am very I, concerned I, about. Yeah, but you treat black and brown people. No. You're trying to do their job. True. Yeah, you are. No. There's plenty of black staff mm -hmm. that tried to escort you out that you treated like I'm shit. I'm not going to just do anything a black guy tells me to do because he's black. Yeah, that's that's racist. racist. No, that's racist no, 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 to no, say. But I don't think saying, you have the privilege to define what racism is. Fine. Neither do you. I mean, I, I can go to a dictionary. I can yeah. go to an encyclopedia. Actually, I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sit here and be like. I'm not gonna sit here and be told I can't do this because of the color Nobody of my skin. Sorry, I mean, but it's just like no, it's no, like no, white no, people. No, white no, people no, try no, to no, give no, the the, no, the no, narrative no, of what no, racism is. I don't care. I love Victoria, and even she if she doesn't, disagree with and that, you and you know what? That's what you know. What friendships are full of people that disagree on things. Like, has seen these guys try to do their job. I respect Urban Alchemy. I actually but went you, out with but them. But you're treating them like shit. No, I'm not. You, did you, no, not, did you jump the fence? You did. That is not a disrespectful thing to Urban you Alchemy. You trespassed their property where they're trying this to do This fence their is disrespectful. <laughs> this whole thing is disrespectful to hey, human hey, life. I, I feel like I'm not and the, and the human condition. But then there's also people out there that you're recording that they haven't signed the written release report. It's you're a gonna, public space. It's not really. Square. Not it's it's, it's it in close. It's in close. And they've destroyed. Then they're taking over. They're privatizing a. And that would be a separate. That would be a separate legal issue. I, I want to give you a tip that you're wrong. I mean, that's a separate legal issue. That's a separate legal.